A novel, fully automatic extrinsic calibration method for litter camera systems is presented, eliminating the need for corresponding point registration. The proposed algorithm extracts required litter correspondence points by computing the orientation of plane point clouds and applying distance and density-based thresholds to filter out irrelevant points. This approach ensures that only relevant points are used for calibration, increasing the accuracy of the method. Extrinsic parameters between the litter and camera are introduced into the projection of extracted points and constructed coplanar constraints. These constraints are then optimized to solve for the extrinsic parameters, enabling the calibration of the litter camera system. The method has been validated across multiple sets of litter camera systems, demonstrating superior performance compared to current calibration techniques in synthetic experiments. Real-world data experiments further confirm the precision and robustness of the proposed algorithm. The results show average rotation and translation calibration errors between litter and camera of less than 0.05 degrees and 0.015 meters, respectively. This level of accuracy is achieved in a single step, highlighting the potential of calibration algorithms beyond using corresponding point registration to enhance the automation and precision of litter camera system calibration. The proposed method enables automatic and accurate extrinsic calibration, eliminating the need for manual intervention and reducing the complexity of the calibration process. This approach has significant implications for the development of litter camera systems, enabling the widespread adoption of these systems in various applications. The calibration of litter camera systems is a pivotal task in various applications, including robotics, autonomous vehicles, and computer vision. This paper provides an extensive overview of existing methodologies for extrinsic calibration, which entails determining the rigid transformation relationship between the litter and camera. The static-based method assumes a stationary or slowly moving camera, leveraging geometric attributes of key features to estimate the camera's pose. Techniques such as structure from motion, SFM, and simultaneous localization and mapping, SLAM, can be applied within this framework. Recent advancements in deep learning have also been utilized for targetless multi-sensor calibration. For instance, Yi et al. proposed a network for 2D-3D pose estimation based on key points, which embeds an optimizer based on geometric constraints into an endo end network. Zhu et al. trained a cross-modal graph neural network, GNN, for calibrating a litter camera system, utilizing PointNet and PointNet++ models to extract feature points from point cloud data. Motion-based methods, on the other hand, exploit the motion of the camera or sensor to estimate its pose. By analyzing the apparent motion of features in the scene over time, the camera's trajectory and orientation can be inferred. Optical flow, visual odometry, or feature tracking algorithms are commonly used in motion-based methods. However, existing methods encounter specific challenges, including ensuring the generalization ability of calibration results across various scenarios and the lack of real-time evaluation techniques to assess calibration results. This paper proposes a novel method that utilizes a checkerboard as the calibration target, mounted on a carrier with a litter and a camera. The objective is to determine the rigid transformation relationship between the litter and the camera expressed as PIC equals RCL PIL plus TCL, where PIC and PIL represent a pair of point clouds captured by the litter and the camera, respectively. The proposed method enables calibration in both simple and complex indoor and outdoor environments. The calibration process is straightforward, involving the collection of checkerboard data with both litter and camera systems, followed by automatic extrinsic calibration. The entire process is efficient and boasts high precision. The pipeline of the calibration process is depicted in FIG. 2, which involves camera calibration, filtering point clouds, extracting plane point clouds, and establishing the coplanar constraint to compute the extrinsic parameters. The first step of the proposed method is camera calibration, which is followed by a novel algorithm to filter point clouds and extract plane point clouds. The final step is to establish the coplanar constraint and compute the extrinsic parameters by optimizing the cost function of the coplanar constraint. The proposed approach offers superiority by exclusively processing litter point clouds throughout the calibration process, eliminating the need to register 2D TO 3D correspondence points between litter and camera or perform point cloud registration.
This approach is efficient and straightforward, boasting high precision and enabling calibration in both simple and complex environments. The proposed calibration method begins with camera calibration, utilizing a checkerboard as the calibration target. This approach leverages existing methods, such as those presented in references 14, 25, 26, 27, and 28, which can calibrate the camera using a limited number of chessboard images. These methods obtain the extrinsic parameters RWC and TWC, transforming the camera coordinate system OC to the checkerboard coordinate system OW. The projection of a point pi in OC onto AO is given by the formula pi equals RWC pi plus TWC. Following camera calibration, an approximation of the distance between the checkerboard and the camera is achieved using the pinhole camera model. The relationship between the focal length f, distance l, real-world distance w, and corresponding corner point distance w within the image is illustrated in fig. 3. According to the principles of similar triangles, this relationship can be represented as f, w equals l, w. The value of f is obtained from camera calibration, while w is ascertained by detecting and calculating the pixel distance between corner points during the calibration process. The correspondence W is obtained due to the known size of the checkerboard. Therefore, the distance from the checkerboard to the camera is estimated using the formula L equals WF, W. This approach is facilitated by the novel plane point cloud extraction method and the coplanar constraint optimization, as depicted in the pipeline of the proposed calibration method in FIG. 2. The calibration process yields the necessary parameters for the subsequent steps of the proposed method. The extrinsic calibration process for a multi-sensor system involves a three-step algorithm to extract corresponding points from the litter point cloud. First, point cloud clustering is performed using the DBSCAN algorithm, which efficiently clusters objects with density variations based on their normal directions. Each cluster is then represented by a most representative normal, calculated using the weighted sum of the normals of all points within the cluster. Next, Point cloud filtering is applied within each cluster using the RANSAC method for plane fitting, which robustly handles outliers and accurately estimates parameters from noisy data. By identifying the maximum density plane within each cluster, the point clouds forming this plane are retained, effectively filtering out the rest based on orientation information of the point cloud planes. The third step involves filtering the remaining point clouds based on their normal directions. The angle between the normal of each point cloud cluster and the z-axis is calculated, and a threshold theta is set to filter out planes not meeting the requirement. This process ensures that only the point clouds belonging to the checkerboard are retained. The extracted points are then used in an optimization process to obtain the extrinsic parameters RCL and TCL. This distance serves as a discriminant criterion in the selection process of point cloud extraction making the algorithm effective in complex calibration environments. The authors detail the final steps of their litter camera calibration algorithm, beginning with point cloud filtering. This process involves removing clusters whose normals significantly deviate from the z-axis, as depicted in figure 4. Following this, the plane point cloud corresponding to the checkerboard is extracted by identifying the cluster closest to the camera and possessing the largest point cloud density. This is achieved through computing the distance of each cluster to the litter using equation 7 and selecting the cluster with maximum point cloud density. Next, the authors describe the coplanar constraint and extrinsic calculation. By projecting the extracted point cloud from the litter coordinate system to the camera coordinate system using equation 8, and then to the checkerboard coordinate system using equation 9, they establish a constraint equation where the z-axis coordinates of the points should be zero as shown in equation 10. The authors aim to minimize the sum of squared errors of the z-axis coordinates of the points, as shown in equation 11, which can be rewritten as equation 12. Solving this optimization problem yields the extrinsic parameters RCL and TCL, thereby achieving the calibration between the litter and the camera. The optimization process relies solely on the constraints provided by the litter point cloud, and since each point on the plane serves as a constraint, a sufficient number of constraints are established in one input frame to optimize accurate values for the extrinsic parameters. 
The entire calibration algorithm is summarized in algorithm 1. This paper introduces a novel calibration method for litter and camera systems in autonomous vehicles, focusing on enhancing accuracy and efficiency. The proposed method utilizes a single checkerboard pattern, eliminating the need for manual correspondence between points and reducing potential errors. To evaluate the performance of their proposed method, the authors conducted experiments using both simulated and real-world data, comparing it with four state-of-the-art, SOTA, methods listed in Table I in the simulation experiment. They created a calibration scenario in Gazebo Robot Simulation Environment, Gazebo, to validate both the calibration accuracy and generalizability of their method across diverse litter camera systems. They performed calibration on three distinct setups, each employing different combinations of cameras and lighters, with variations in the displacement between the camera and litter for each system. The proposed method exhibited superior calibration accuracy compared to the comparative methods, demonstrating small errors in rotation and translation dimensions and the smallest standard deviation across the data, indicating its robustness in accurately calibrating litter camera systems with different configurations. The authors also computed the mean reprojection error, MRE, for different calibration methods in the simulated environment. A uniform circular plane was vertically placed in front of the equipment, and all other objects were removed. Data were collected using three equipment, and then, a manual selection of the circular center was performed. The proposed method showed a significant reduction in MRE compared to the SOTA methods, further highlighting its effectiveness in improving the calibration process. The experiments were conducted on a regular laptop with Intel Core i58250U CPU and GPU of NVIDIA GeForce MX150. The results suggest that the proposed method can be efficiently applied to various litter camera systems, providing high-precision calibration with minimal setup requirements. Tables 2 and 3 present a comprehensive evaluation of the proposed method's calibration performance across three litter camera systems, showcasing superior results compared to other methods. The proposed method achieves the lowest average rotation error, with values of 0.0171 degrees. 0.0430 degrees, and 0.0662 degrees for roll, pitch, and yaw, respectively. Similarly, it exhibits the lowest average translation error, with values of 0.0173 meters, 0.0147 meters, and 0.0103 meters in the X, Y, and Z axes, respectively. A comparison with state-of-the-art calibration methods in the KITTI dataset, as shown in Table 3, demonstrates the proposed method's outstanding performance. It achieves lower mean errors in translation, rotation, and reprojection error, with values of 0.011 meters and 0.172 degrees for KITTI1, and 0.014 meters and 0.122 degrees for KITTI2. The mean reprojection error, illustrated in Figure 7, is calculated as the pixel distance between the reprojected center point and the center of the circular image in the camera, with the proposed method achieving a minimum value of less than 0.5 pixels. The proposed method's efficiency in requiring less data is highlighted by controlling the input calibration frames. Figure 8 shows that the proposed method significantly outperforms comparative methods in calibration accuracy when utilizing a small number of calibration frames attributed to its efficient utilization of point cloud information through the extraction of planar point clouds and the establishment of coplanar constraints. The calibration accuracy of the proposed method is evaluated using various input frames, with results presented in Figure 8. This error band chart illustrates that utilizing a larger number of calibration frames enhances calibration accuracy, but at the cost of extended calibration time. In contrast, Figure 9 highlights the significant advantage of fully automated approaches in terms of processing time, whereas the proposed method requires a longer duration to process calibration frames, but achieves comparable accuracy to state-of-the-art methods using only a limited number of input frames, resulting in a shorter overall calibration time. The proposed method's efficiency and effectiveness are attributed to its reduced calibration data requirements and superior calibration speed. To demonstrate its performance, a real-world data experiment is conducted using the KITTI dataset, where litter point clouds are reprojected into images captured by the camera. 
The reprojection outcome, presented in Figure 10, showcases the superior performance of the proposed method, particularly evident at the edges of the checkerboard. The proposed method accurately projects laser points within the checkerboard boundaries, whereas alternative approaches tend to project points outside the checkerboard. The proposed method's reliance on plane identification when camera parameters are known enables its evaluation using the KITTI dataset. In contrast, other calibration methods require specific calibration targets not found in the KITTI dataset. Consequently, several state-of-the-art calibration methods are selected for comparison, and two sequences from the KITTI dataset are used for calibration and error computation relative to ground truth, as presented in Table 3. The results in Table 3 consistently show that the proposed method outperforms other calibration methods, underscoring its higher calibration accuracy and generalizability. A novel litter camera calibration method is presented, simplifying the process and eliminating human intervention. This innovation bypasses corresponding point registration, a common step in current calibration methods. Instead, the algorithm extracts plane point clouds in complex environments and establishes coplanar constraints. By calculating point cloud normals, it identifies and matches coplanar points between the litter and camera data, then estimates the transformation matrix between the two sensors using these matched points. The proposed method was tested on two litter camera systems, referred to as System A and System B, and compared against other calibration methods. On the KITTI dataset, the method achieved outstanding performance, improving calibration accuracy by up to 64.36% and 68.77% for the two sequences, respectively. This improvement reduces measurement errors caused by calibration inaccuracies from a maximum of 14 cm to 5 cm at a distance of 20 m in outdoor environments. To further validate the effectiveness of the calibration parameters obtained, outdoor litter point clouds were reprojected using these parameters. The reprojection results demonstrate accurate alignment with the contours of observation targets such as trees, roadside poles, and cyclists. The colors of the point clouds, determined by depth, are consistently and evenly distributed, indicating highly accurate reprojection results. This method offers a straightforward and efficient way to achieve precise litter camera calibration without human intervention, utilizing plane point clouds and coplanar constraints to estimate the transformation matrix between the sensors. The proposed method for extrinsic calibration of litter and camera systems has been extensively validated through simulations and real-world experiments, achieving high accuracy in calibration results. Specifically, the average rotation and translation errors are less than 0.05 degrees and 0.015 meters, respectively. By circumventing errors introduced by mismatched corresponding points in registration-based methods, this approach maximizes the utilization of point cloud information, reducing the required calibration input data. However, areas for improvement remain. The algorithm for extracting planar point clouds may struggle to accurately extract the checkerboard plane when multiple planes in the environment resemble the checkerboard. Additionally, when the checkerboard is placed too far from the litter camera setup, the sparse point cloud of its plane may lead to insufficiently strict coplanar constraints affecting the accuracy of calibration parameters. Future work will focus on enhancing the effectiveness and robustness of the planar point cloud extraction method in complex scenarios and extending the algorithm to more general scenes. Efforts will also be made to develop calibration software and release it as open source to serve a wider audience of researchers and industrial practitioners. The paper provides a comprehensive review of existing literature on point cloud registration, litter camera calibration, and sensor auto calibration, citing various relevant studies and papers in the field. This review highlights the significance of the proposed method in advancing the state of the art in litter camera calibration. The presented works highlight the importance of litter camera calibration in road scene understanding and salient instance segmentation. A comprehensive review of existing studies is provided, focusing on recent advancements in automatic calibration and refinement techniques for litter and camera systems. One notable study by Ma et al., 34, proposes the CRLF method, which leverages the litter point cloud and camera images to establish correspondences and refine the calibration process. This approach is based on line features in road scenes 
demonstrating an effective way to address the challenge of automatic calibration. Another significant contribution comes from Caleb Net, 35, a dual branch cross modal calibration framework for RGBD salient instance segmentation. This method employs a novel loss function and a cross modal attention mechanism to align the litter and camera modalities, achieving accurate calibration results. The ATOP approach, 36, introduces an attention to optimization strategy for automatic litter camera calibration via cross modal object matching. This method has been shown to achieve accurate calibration results in various scenarios, contributing to the advancement of litter camera calibration techniques. The KITTI dataset, 37, is also referenced, a widely used benchmark for evaluating litter camera calibration and other computer vision tasks. This dataset provides a comprehensive set of road scene images and corresponding litter point clouds, facilitating the development and evaluation of calibration algorithms. These studies collectively demonstrate the effectiveness of various approaches, including line feature-based refinement, cross-modal attention, and attention to optimization strategies. They contribute to the advancement of litter camera calibration techniques, enabling more accurate and efficient scene understanding in various applications.